Okay. Girl, I work in TV. I know how it can be. I know how it can be. Hey, Hector. Hey, Mike. Or Mm -hmm. Mr. Cooper. My bad. (laughs) um, Okay, so we're good now. So we can like officially start. So I just wanted to make sure everybody can hear us, everybody can see us. um, Because we are, this is like my first interview. I'm super excited. So this is Welcome to Love Lessons. I'm Deetra. If I don't know you personally, I'm an author, I'm a life coach, I'm a mentor, I'm a friend. Um, So here's my book here. There's more in you. So that's what I'm all about. But I have with me Myra. So Myra, she is. AKA you meet Myra. So I have with me Myra. She is a single mom. She's an operations engineer. I thought that was really interesting too. And she's the owner of Unique Myra. She does uh, mornings with, did I get it right? Mornings with Myra? Yeah, mornings with Myra. (laughs) Mornings with Myra. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for the ladies that are really needing to get it together in the morning, she's got you. Okay. Yeah. So... (laughs) This is what we're talking about. We're talking about am I desperate? And I think that we both can speak to this because we are single women. We've been single for a little bit. We've both gone through divorces. Um, Oh, yeah. (laughs) What I love about um, talking about this is because when I went through a divorce, I didn't have anybody to really talk to. My friends were still married. Okay. I don't know. Was that like, was that like, was it the same for you? Were your friends married? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. All my friends yeah. are still married. And yep, you start becoming that oddball, you yeah. know, because you're still going to parties and everybody's still married. And you're just like, mm-hmm. okay, you know, and like you're totally start looking a little bit different than you did when you were right. married. And so- <laughs> yeah. So, and so, so yeah, like weird. everybody's always. Yeah, I know. It feels awkward. It feels weird. And so then you feel like, okay, I guess I got to get myself some single friends. Because- right. Okay. <laughs> so, so you might not have anybody to talk to. So I thought oh, I like know. once I got through that healing process and I really let go of some things um, and I do have a chapter in my book where I talk about how to do that, then I'm like, okay, now I can talk about it. Now I can share some of my experiences. And I think mm-hmm. even for people that are still married, I know people that are still uh, married, they read my book and they said that it really helped their marriage. And I was surprised mm-hmm. because that was not like my intention <laughs> when I wrote it. Mm-hmm. But I did that mm-hmm. to okay. my ex-husband. I really did because mm-hmm. I learned so much from him. Um, yeah. That being said, while on this journey of being single, um, I know the thought crossed my mind, are you desperate? That thought crossed <laughs> my mind. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. like, oh, yeah. how much should you and like, like you... put yourself out there? You know what I mean? Like, oh like, my goodness, too much. Oh my you goodness, know? yes. I was totally desperate, especially when I think when your ex gets another like oh, mate, like goodness. when you get a girlfriend or something, that's when you become like extremely <laughs> desperate. <laughs> like, I, somebody. <laughs> I know, exactly. You're just like, oh, how did they find someone? And like, I'm still over here all alone. What is wrong right. with me? Is it really me this time? Like, right. <laughs> You start or, telling yourself all these things. <laughs> right. That, and a lot of the stuff is not true. And I think in my case, my ex-husband, he had somebody before we were officially like apart. So oh my like, God. we were not divorced or anything like that. And me being a Christian gal that I am, <laughs> so, <laughs> I was waiting. Like I didn't want to date. I just felt like it was just weird to be like, um, yeah, I'm single, but I'm still married. Like, how does that work? No. Like, either you're married, yeah, or you're I know. Single, you know. So, I know. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people because I'm technically still married. It's it's all just because of um, a money problem, basically, okay. and it's all because of people just not totally agreeing and sticking to what they said. And so, yeah, I'm unfortunately one of those people who are technically still married, but I haven't been with my ex husband for like three years now, almost four. So, <laughs> so you live like you're single. I hadn't really accepted that I was single. 
Is that ah, true? that's different. So yes. I was like, okay, I know he's living in a house with an entirely different person. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I, I was aware, but I just, I think I thought he might come back or I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I know. <laughs> I, just, I didn't fully accept it. And I think that that's why I couldn't say that with a straight face because I yeah. had accepted it. So uh -huh. yeah. we're going to go yeah. through some signs here now that we have a little background. Um, the first mm -hmm. one was like, say you go out with somebody and you're not really feeling that person and you go like, yeah, I'm not really, you don't really know how to say it, but you say it somehow. <laughs> you say yeah. Yeah. Um, and then they go well can we be friends maybe we should just be friends and mm -hmm. I know we, we kind of had a little we had a friendly debate going a little yeah. bit we talked about this because <laughs> yes. I felt like I'm not the friend person I don't want to be yeah. a friend okay yeah. <laughs> so like, I got my girls I have like old school people I got cousins yeah. I got people, okay? Yeah, you I got, got people. people at <laughs> if I want, like, somebody to be my friend, so yeah, I don't then, then you'll like, have I'm a friend. Huh? I know. I said, yeah, and then you'll have a friend. But, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I get kind of caught up in that. It's just like, well, I definitely don't want to, you know, be with you, but, like, I don't want to totally cut you off because, like, I'm just that nice person that's, like, I don't want to just leave you hanging and then, you know, you're crying and then you're, you know, <laughs> going to some sort of deep depression, <laughs> you know, but yeah. you don't want to keep them on your hook either because I finally figured out I love this show, How I Met Your Mother, and that's what it is. You're keeping them on the hook whenever okay, they say, well, can we just be friends? <laughs> I know. Yeah, you, know, you keep them on the hook. <laughs> that is, so I know wrong. it's not like you're giving them hope, like you're you. gonna be together. No, you're not. I know. No, I know. No, happening. you're not because yeah, you're <laughs> giving it. It's false hope. <laughs> right. It's false hope. That's what that is. That's totally false hope. It it's is. like, well, maybe, maybe if they they just see me in a different light. Well, maybe if I wear this sexy dress, or just maybe if we just go do this and do that, okay. and it's like. Yeah, no, it's not going to so happen. Don't do, that. And, don't do that. Yeah, and let people <laughs> go. Let people go. Like, don't feel right. bad. It's okay. And, like, and that's what I need it, to understand. So. I know. It took me a while to understand that. Like, to it's okay to say, you know what? No, I don't want to be with you. And no, I don't want to be your friend. I'm going to let you go because this is how I feel. And that's okay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's that okay is okay. Not okay. To be nice. I just happen to see this. I don't always acknowledge all the comments because it can throw us off with this one right here. This is really good. So Brian says, this is what you say, okay? If you're trying to break it off, you say, you're a yeah. very good looking person, but you're not what I'm looking for. He said that works for him. <laughs> yeah. That works for him. I've been told I've been, a, I'm, you're amazing. And I was, I had a desperate moment. Brian? Yeah, I know. Girls, absolutely amazing. So Brian, uh -huh. was very good. You're not what I'm looking yeah. for. Cause I wish he would have told me that I wasn't what he was looking for. Um, yeah. Because I wasn't. And that's that I could have took a little better. But he, he basically was just like, yeah, this just isn't going well. Like, I just don't. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Just how it's been going. <laughs> he was talking like this. This is not me just. He was like. Oh, my God. Mm, like, it was just. It was hor It was painful. And I was like. Like, did you choose somebody else over me? Like, you know, I could kind of tell that he was. Don't you hate that? Huh? Yeah. I can tell. Oh, I said, don't you hate that? Oh, my gosh. That don't you hate worst. that when I hate a competition? And, like, I swear, like, I've been in that. That's another sign of desperation. When, when you, they tell you, they will straight up tell you that, hey, you know, like, I'm not totally, like, just with you. I've been seeing someone else, and mm -hmm. I just don't know if I'm totally with them or if I, I, I might want to just, you know, not be with them, but I really like you, too, and then you stay with them, and then you're just okay. like, well, maybe I might win, and, you know, you start right. getting this competition. I'm like, like, okay, I wonder what that other chick looked like. I probably look better. Okay. You know, 
and you can't oh, tell that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me. I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> but he told me that you know it's bad when they tell you like, yeah, you look better, but I still don't want you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And it's like, oh, dang. It ain't all about the look. Okay. It, is not, it is not all about the look. Like, it is absolutely no. not all about the looks. We got some good comments coming in. Sarah Jane said, so I can't stop and in- acknowledge all of them but I am going to go back to them the second thing uh-huh. is like when you're doing too much too soon um, because if you've been married before like for me one thing I did miss is like doing things for my ex-husband like you know when holidays would come around or you know different things like if it was a birthday or if I just wanted to do something nice um, I wanted to be able to do that for these new people that I was dating, but I was I like, go overboard. Yeah, like, I've done that. Right. <laughs> um, this bit, I remember I actually wasn't divorced yet, but it was like one of our many breaks or whatever. So yeah. um, this guy, he was like, yeah, we should exchange gifts for um, Christmas. And I got him something like a nice, thing for his kitchen and he gives me some whatnot he called him he's there i call them little whatnots i don't know what to call them <laughs> you know they're like little figurines or something you sit like you just sit for decoration and stuff uh-huh. and he was like yeah i call them my ladies and i'm like yo lady what I'm like they cost 99 cent each maybe two for a dollar <laughs> like and this is all I get. Like, I really felt oh desperate in that moment. Like, was I trying to impress him by getting the gift? I don't know. I can go a lot I don't know. with that. Maybe you were just given how you felt, you know? Like, you were just given from your heart, you know? You gave how you that felt. To me. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> that to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. That was funny. That was a while back, though. Oh my like, god! Yeah, cool. not... I I will tell you my my sign of desperation was when I had this just re- not recently. It was like last year. I had this boyfriend, and he we weren't even we hadn't even said that he was my boyfriend, and we haven't like totally like like we're totally exclusive. But it was his birthday, mm-hmm. you know, trying to do something special. One of those things where you know yeah. when you we're married, you like to do something special you for do. that person on their birthday. Day. And so I baked him cupcakes. I decorated my kitchen for him. And wow. I had invited him over. I know I had invited him over. He didn't even show up. <laughs> Not show up for his birthday. No. I was like, I did all this special stuff. I was desperate. Desperate. What? I did. Okay, this is my last one because I got stories for days. There was a guy, and I remember, um, she's not on here. She was on here just a minute ago watching. I wish she was on here because she's the one that told me. <laughs> you need a friend to tell you, like, girl. Um, there's a guy I was talking to, and he lived, like, out of town. And it was, like, the first time that I was going to see him. And he was, like, the first person that I had felt like, you know what? Like, this might be what I'm looking for. You know, this yeah. might be what I want. Like, you know, because yeah. I was <laughs> talking and everything. And I was like, okay. He was like, well, if you could come down here. And she was like, and I was going to go. I made plans to go. And we were like hanging out with her. And it was like a little over an hour trip. And she was like, you don't have to do that. Like, she looked me in the <laughs> eye and everything. And I was over here like, well, what's wrong with that? I mean, he works a lot, and I was like making like making it make sense, you know. And she was like, and now it's totally different. No one will even uh-huh. ask me to make a trip for them. Like they, will yeah. be, they, no. it doesn't even cross their mind. They're like, oh, I'm uh-huh. like, of course I'll come to you, you know. Of course. I know you stop attracting those type of people who were all needy like that, talking about, well, come to me. No. Right. <laughs> right. He yeah, was like, well, finally I'm really, everything you know I'll give you guys. I am worth I'll more than that. that. But I had to drive down. I know. And I'm like, I know. No. I make it always clear that I don't like to drive. And he was just still like, well, come on and come. And like, that is not, 
That was definitely, I know. definitely desperate. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it was. This is the third one. Because we went through two. Can we just be friends? I've had a few guys do that. And I've told them I'm straight up. So I've told them, like, look, um, I don't, like, that gets a little awkward. Because when you are friends with someone and then you meet someone else, then you can't be friends anymore. And that gets awkward. I've had somebody yeah. tell me, like, hey, <laughs> like yep. that's okay. Just let me know. That's a little I know. desperate. Like, I know. Just let me know if you talk to the other dude. Oh, I know. You know, I'll be your side dude kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <That's laughs> no, women no. You got to cut it off. That's it. Women do the same thing. I'll be yeah. your side mm -hmm. chick. And men, no. they're side dudes and side pieces. Like, there's both. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the second one was sweet. doing too much too soon. So we told a couple stories about that. And then <laughs> the last one is the red flag. So you basically said the red flag, if he don't show up, not in this life. I know. Exactly. Red flag. Yeah. But, of course, I was desperate. So I was just like, <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> You're always like, I, I want to know what happened. What I happened? know. Well, what happened was that he was broke and he didn't have any gas money to get to my house. <laughs> <laughs> but he couldn't tell me that. And so he tried to just act like, well, I was just busy. I was in my feelings. Like, just like lying to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that I know. That is another red flag. That that same guy did the same thing. The reason why I needed to go there was because of the money. So I found out that he had a discount on the hotel and oh my God. where he, like he had discounts and stuff. So <laughs> it was like, that's why, you know, on oh anything my that we would do, he had like stuff figured out. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got my cool. discount. <laughs> right, but you told me that after the fact. That was hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> so we still got these comments coming in. So the red flags, when you start to ignore them, you definitely are desperate. So what do we do about it? So when we figure out, I knew I had a case of low self esteem, but I didn't think it was that low. <laughs> like looking back on it, I'm like, wow. I know exactly. I know, like, oh my god, how was I so low? Are you going to bed? Right. I love you. I'm saying good night to my daughter. She's going to bed. <laughs> That's my 15 year old. Yes, but yeah, talk about low self esteem. Oh my god, I had such low self esteem. I would date some of the crappiest people, and they would treat me so crappy, and I would still want them. Like, why do I want somebody? <laughs> like a piece of you're shit. not the only one you know like in my life and I'm sitting though, or why I think we did it because we were trying to prove to ourselves like if I win this person over and they start treating me better that proves my worth you know what I mean yeah like, yeah and looking like, outside okay, of ourselves I, for validation yeah. Yep. <laughs> so when they start, if they didn't give you any attention and they ghost you for like two days, that's a red flag. If they ghost you for two days, women do this stuff too. Then um, mm -hmm. that's like something that you say, okay, this is not, you know, I'm worth more than that. You need to respect me and my time and my energy, everything that I bring. And exactly. you're not even responding to me. So not okay. I know. talking about I'm busy. Okay. That's no, that. no, one you're too busy, busy for me. So if I, I know you, exactly. I call you, and you don't respond, then you don't need me at, in your life. No, you know? exactly. Like, that's it's, not. It's okay. clear that they don't want you in your life because I mean, you've had relationships where people who actually want to be in your life, they do respond. You know, they do text you back. Yes. They do call you. They do come to you. They do spend time with you. People who want to be in your life will be in your life. You don't have to beg. You don't have to cry. You don't have to make excuses. Oh, and you do not have to. <laughs> I know, right? right. People who want to be in your 
want to be in your life will be in your life. <laughs> you better say that. I wish somebody would have typed that down there in the comments because uh -huh. that, that's so true. If they want to be there, yes. they be there. But you know, nice. when you suffer from low self-esteem, you don't want to accept when someone doesn't, when you they don't want you. Like, yeah. it's not that there's yeah. anything wrong with you. But no. the fact that they don't want you is so hard for you to yeah, accept. I know. I know. It is so it's hard. It's just like, I think it's just like that dress that just doesn't work. You know, it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's just one dress. It's one dress that just it's doesn't cute. work. You know, like not every dress is going to work for you. <laughs> yeah, it is. So that's that's what you so want to look work. at it. <laughs> Yeah, long. start thinking about relationships <laughs> like that. Like, you know what? You know, you're just that dress that just doesn't work. I keep trying to make it work, and it's just not working. <laughs> it's not working. I'm not shaped for you. Like, it's not, it doesn't fit my body. It doesn't look right. I know. It doesn't feel right. But it looks good on somebody yeah. else, but not for me. I know, so, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks good on somebody else. So, so now we got that. I think getting your self-worth you've got to start loving yourself right mm -hmm. yeah exactly start, loving, start loving ourselves like start yeah. looking yourself in the mirror and start saying hey you know what i love you you're awesome like tell start like i mean it feels weird at first but it actually it does. does help and it does work <laughs> it does it work does like telling weird. yourself I know, telling yourself that you are awesome and that you love yourself and that, hey, I look so pretty today. Oh, man, look at those mm -hmm. eyes or whatever it is that you love about yourself and start telling yourself that you love yourself. Like, that just makes a huge difference in your life. It really does. Right. <laughs> and it gets and better. Know, but somebody, Madison says, um, what if a lot of dresses don't work? And ladies, um, <laughs> if you've been shopping with me, there, there's always a lot of dresses that don't work. I know. I take like 20 <laughs> things in the dressing room. Like, oh, no. uh, and I'm oh, like, no. and then I come out with one or two things, and I'm like, yeah, this is not it. <laughs> this is I not, know. I, when I, I saw it, I thought this was it. But when uh -huh. I saw it, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> no, this is not it. You might be shopping in the wrong section. You got to go to a different section <laughs> and you got to find something new. You're not a right. junior anymore. You got to get out the junior section and go to the misses. <laughs> <laughs> You got to go to the grown-up woman section. <laughs> you, right. You're a full-blown grown-up now. So I know. Grown. Grown. I had to tell one of my friends that, though, because she was getting so mad. Like, I hate going to the store. You know, she was getting so mad. And it was yeah. she was in the junior section. So, yeah. yeah, that stuff, it doesn't fit right. So, yeah. yeah. And sometimes yeah. And you do, you're attracted to certain guys. It's just not it. Yeah. Like, Yes, you and then start your changing life. your your energy. Like I think changing your energy and changing who you are, because like sometimes if you feel like you're trying out a lot of different people and it just constantly isn't working, mm -hmm. you need to start stop and take a minute and start looking at yourself because yeah. apparently you're attracting the wrong type of people. And like that's yeah. what I had to do. Like, I had to stop, you know, and I stopped yeah. dating for a second and I started taking care of me. And I needed yeah. to get myself into that energy and into that that place where I started attracting people who wanted I wanted to be in my mm -hmm. life and people who were on the same energy level plane that I was. Because, I mean, beforehand with me having low self-esteem, hey, guess what I was attracting? People who were attracted to women yeah. with low self-esteem who wanted yeah, to beat them down some more, who wanted, you know? And so, like, that's why you got to stop and just really regroup and, like, figure out who you are and what you want and what you want out of life and what you like. And I find that when you figure out what you like and what you like to do, mm -hmm. when you find that passion in life, you know, that thing that you like to do, that's where you find the people that you're attracted to, that are attracted to you, because you guys like the same things. You guys are going about yeah. the same things. You guys think the same way. You kind of feel the same way. You know, mm -hmm. go to that. You're like, if you're into nature, go on a hike, you know, 
hey, you might, you're probably going to find mm-hmm. some hot guy or some hot woman on that, you know, That's on that hike. That. Yeah. You know, or if you're into art, go to that museum or go, like, meet up with that group that's totally into mm-hmm. art. Or if you're into photography, meet up with that group that's totally into pro- photography. Because, like, that's where you find people that are into your stuff, you know, people who are yeah. into you, who get you, you know, and that's what you yeah. want. You want somebody who gets you. <laughs> you, you, know? do. you do. So, that was really yeah. good. That was really good. Um, so that kind of is a good segue into the love lesson. So um, I always want to have a love lesson and I'll have one to share, but what do you think your biggest love lesson was? Um, I think my biggest love lesson is that love doesn't hurt because I come from um, a background of like my mother passed away when I was young, you know, my dad left, I was raised by my aunt and my uncle, you know, I was, you know, I was in a household of where love well, it wasn't really love. It felt it was supposed to be love. And, you know, we're watching TV shows where this is a family and families are supposed to love each other. But my family was hurting me. You know, they were beating me down. They were abusing me. And so I got into my head, hey, this is love. And it hurts really bad. You know, like my heart hurts, you know, my head hurts, you know, my body Mm -hmm. aches. Like, this is what love is. And so like, I got into my head, love has to hurt. And so I started attracting those type of men who would hurt me, you know? And so they would hurt me. They would come into my life and they would make me feel bad. They would make me feel bad about myself. They would lower my self-worth and just, but I thought it was love. Like, oh, this is what love is, you know? It hurts and that's what love Mm -hmm. is because that's where I come from. Love is right. Love does not Present. hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love does uh, not hurt. Man, exactly. love is supposed to feel good. Love is supposed to feel wonderful. Love is easy. Love mm-hmm. just, it just feels like it just flows. And yeah. you will almost feel like, honestly, I feel like I'm I'm feeling that way these days, guys. I'm so excited about that. Hey, hey, Woo! for me. Like, <laughs> 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 Like, it just feels like you're just floating along and just everything just matches up and everything's Mm -hmm. just so easy, breezy. And that's the way it's supposed to feel. It's not supposed to be any type of, everybody's like, well, you're supposed to hit bumps. You're supposed to, you know, sometimes. Yeah, people do say that. I know, but no, it doesn't have to be that way. And I think a lot of people get in their heads like, well, we're supposed to do that. No, you don't have to do that. It can be easy. It can be so nice and like just take your breath away to where you just feel like you're floating on a cloud. That's the yeah. way life is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that, that was really, really good. Like I I think um what it what it kind of goes with this comment, Shakira, shout out to Shakira. Um, she says, honestly, we just have to take the time to get to know people internally yeah with those who are the closest thing to the reflection of the inner you so yes. Yes. yeah so when you're like healed uh, you, you talked about earlier when you're healing and um you've taken that time you've taken that break and you're just fresh you know you're refreshed yes. and you're ready to get back out there like you're going to connect with people that are a reflection of yourself and you're, you're yeah. coming into it with, with that mindset of love doesn't hurt. So yes, exactly. I think I could have, I could have, uh, let me see. I could have missed. I'm like just going through a little bit of the, the comments to see uh, somebody said, Oh, Shakira, she said this earlier. It's hard to find a balance between just being you and doing what makes sense a lot of times. Unfortunately, we have to treat everything at face value, but it's not always easy. Um, yeah. We have to kill our expe- expectations when in date mode. So, Brian, um, I would like to hear more about that. <laughs> because I, know. Uh, I think expectations are just natural. 
Like you're just Yeah, exactly. You're and you're supposed to have expectations. Yeah. If you don't have expectations, then what are you doing? You know, yeah. like yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> it's Yeah, kinda I like, agree. You know, like if you're going to McDonald's, you're not gonna go to McDonald's and be like, just give me whatever. You know, it's like it's going to a restaurant, you gotta put it into the universe what right. you want. You know, you gotta know yeah, what you that's want. what I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, I and expect do that as a defense mechanism, but I've never yes. been good at no expectations. But I've heard several people tell me that before, yeah. but I've not been able to put that into practice because um, I have high expectations of myself and yes. others. So if you're in my yes. space, then I have high expectations or get out of my space. Yes. Like that's just I, know, I, know. Exactly. So, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm I open to learning, though, you know, <laughs> so I'm open to more comments about it. If you have more yeah. to say about it, then I'm open to that. But um, mm -hmm. I would like to, I didn't see any more um, comments because um, I think we just took Madison's comment the wrong way. So we can't fix that in a short period of time where he's talking about the dresses. <laughs> So we took that wrong. But, uh, and then Shakir, she's catching us. She said, we shouldn't have expectations of anyone outside of God and ourselves or else. Um, so mm. I understand it. Um, I just don't feel like it's practical. I think it sounds good in theory, but I think we all have some level of expectation, whether it be little, it might be a minimal expectation. Yeah, uh, and then, exactly. like, if you get into a relationship with someone, then you start talking about those expect expectations. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't go into a rela relationship and have expectations and expect that other person to know what your expectations are and, like, kind of do some sort of mind reading and shit. Yeah. Like, and then be mad because they ain't meeting your expectations because you right. never told them your expectations. Yeah. So, you need to tell people your expectations. Because you're saying that you <laughs> like, don't it's okay have to them. have expectations, but tell people what your expectations are. And yeah. even if you are, to Brian, if you are dating, you can tell people your expectations. It's okay. And if people yeah. aren't ready to step up and meet those expectations, see you later. <laughs> right. You know, because I think people are afraid to right. talk about you expectations. You've saved people some time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> because they don't want to run people off. So you don't yeah. want to say it like, I expect of you. Like, no, yeah, like I, mean, I know. <laughs> uh, so, you know, but my it's girlfriend's like, they know if they haven't called me, they know I expect them to call me back. Eventually, I expect right. them to say something. Or if we set up some time to meet together, I expect you to show up, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm with Bay tonight. What the heck? Like, I'm I know. an explanation. Even if it's a girlfriend, like, or I'm in a certain category. And, you know, you'll, yeah. you'll, um, you'll know exactly. the from behavior. You know, I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. Um, if you're not meeting my I know. <laughs> So that being yeah. said, I just, I want to leave everybody with my love lesson, which is a love yourself enough to wait for the right one. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you're out of desperation. You're just like, at least I have somebody. At least somebody's here with me. And that is just not good enough for who you are because you deserve better than yeah. that. You deserve the absolute yes. best. And that person even deserves what, like, for you to feel as if you're the best. Like, that, that's the best situation. Mm -hmm. Like, if that's I not, know. like, a good feeling to be with somebody and you're, like, they feel like they can do better than me. Like, that's horrible. Yeah. And I, do I know. know no, in that no, no, no. And it oh my gosh. Where she feels like oh my gosh. her husband kind of feels like he can do um, he can do better. You know, like you're not oh my God. what I had in mind. Really? Oh my gosh! Like no, no, yeah. that's bad because because you always have that that insecurity inside yourself. That's just eating at you every day, and that's just gonna yeah. Oh, that poor woman. That's just gonna that's gonna tear her down, and it's just gonna eat at her, and it's just gonna tear her down to the point where hopefully she doesn't fall into some sort of super deep depression because that's just yeah. awful. Who wants to be like that? Like nobody wants to be with somebody who says 
I don't know if uh, I could probably. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, praise a lot. It looks like somebody wants to be in the video. Carlton? No. What? Are we going to have a party? <laughs> Okay. I know. <laughs> um, Deshaun said, but the right one is always in development. So, Carlton, are you just playing? We about done here. Okay, <laughs> good night. So, good night, Carlton. Okay. I know. Good night, Carlton. <laughs> okay, but yeah, if you do want to, um, if you do want to have one of these love sessions where we just talk about it, we get into it, then reach out to me. Um, but I want to have Myra talk about um, what she's working on and how you can find Myra. All right. So right now I'm just working on my unique business, my unique Myra. So I'm working on Mornings with Myra every morning at 11 a.m. So you can, guys can catch me on Facebook at Unique Myra. And Unique is spelled Y-O-U-N-I-Q-U-E. And Myra is M-Y-R-A. So I have my own business page. I have a group. So go ahead and like my page, join my group, and be ready for some inspiration and for some makeup tips because I'm all about the makeup. Okay. I I sell unique makeup. I got all my unique stuff around me. This is my addiction palette. This is some um, eyeshadow. Okay. I have I use this today on my eyes. So if you guys are looking good. for this look, use this. And then I got my all my other unique stuff. So if you guys need any makeup, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> yes. Okay. So oh. this is really, really, really fun. And you are I so know. patient. So I'm so yes. excited that, that we oh, did it. So um, oh, yes. I'm looking forward to doing more of things like this. So I know we missed uh -huh. a few comments, but yeah, now we got to go. <laughs> So goodbye. Mama. I know. You would like to get um, <laughs> a copy Clara. of my book. It's actually free on um, Kindle right now. So if you have Kindle, you can get um, There's More in You. And then there's a chapter about letting go. Um, and it's all faith-based. So if you are a believer, um, then it might, it definitely will help um, yeah, really. to encourage you and everything like that. Carlton, are you serious before we go? You want to say, hey, to everybody, you got time for it? You know, <laughs> yeah, I got time. I know you. Okay, so, yeah, because it is getting late. I'm going to add you in. Okay, so we can't do more than one, it says. But, okay, yeah, um, um, yeah I tried to, and it said um, I can only have one guest. So, um, I was wondering how that worked. Like, what's that? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay. So we can yeah. do it later. If you want to, um, just just inbox me, or we'll get together. And any other comments that I didn't get to, then I will definitely respond to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um, so until next time. I goodbye. know. Bye, Dietrich. Thanks for having me. Bye, Myra. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.